Hi and welcome everyone. Myself Ravi Shankar, studying third year BSA Honors Agricultural Degree at Agricultural College and Research Institute, Kilivalam, coming under Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. I am going to share few points about tea industry with respect to our economics course AEC 301 Agricultural Marketing, Trade and Prices. Let's move on to the topic. This Indian tea is one of the finest in the world. The reason gets attributed to the rich geography, innovation, investment, and improved markets. We consume about three fourths of our own produce. Robert Bruce, a British national, was the first ever person to discover tea plantations in India in Assam. We are the second largest producer after China and fourth largest exporter after Kenya, China and Sri Lanka. We are blessed with high quality teas including Darjeeling, Assam, Atodax, Egris and they are noted for excellent aroma, strength and flavor. The CTC tea means crush, tear and curl tea. map depicts about the major tea growing regions of the world and India. Dibrugar, a city in Assam, is called as the tea city of India because of its fertile, rich alluvial soil. The leading tea producing countries shows it was topped up by China, followed by India, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, etc. So India has its own tea board functioning under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry coming under the Government of India. This tea board has about 17 offices overall in India with headquarters at Kolkata. Established under the Tea Act, it works for developing the tea industry and its exports. It also regulates, promotes, participates, arranges, analyzes and surveys various tea promoting activities in and around India. It also works in collaboration with tea councils set up at US, UK, German, France, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. The three most distinct tea varieties in India includes the Assam tea, the Darjeeling tea and the Nilgiri tea grown respectively at Assam, Darjeeling and Nilgiri. So here are some other tea varieties like uh, Sikkim tea, Tripura tea, Duas tea and Kangra tea. There are some various forms of tree like black, green, white, oolong and herbal trees. So this flowchart depicts about the process that yields different types of teas, most of which is following after withering, fixing, drying, wrapping, rolling, fermenting, etc. So we have an approximation of 50 is to 50 percentage of small and large tea growers in India, among which the CTCT occupies about 90 percentage of the entire tea market in India. Some stat statistical uh, exports and reports say we earn more than 10 percentage of total turnover as a net foreign exchange. We have about 1.1 million workers under T scenario also serving income for about 10 million people. There are both auction and private selling markets in India. There are about six auction centers 
at Calcutta, Guwahati, Siliguri, Kochi, Kunnur and Coimbatore. Tamil Nadu has both uh, two centers at Kunnur and Coimbatore. So this Indian tea has a great demand at the Asia Pacific region uh, for its various uh, types of teas. Some animation images uh, regarding the tea field. So you see the tea consumption is constant, but uh, the year-on-year -year growth rate has decreased in these past years. Our major buyers are Iran, Russia, and America. The major exporting states of India includes West Bengal, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. It seems the overall earnings are getting higher, but the growth of the revenue faces the leeward side nowadays. This graph tells about the average prices of tea at the auction centers, which ranges over of 130 to 150 rupees per kg. So this is an expense and revenue of some important tea companies in India. And finally, this slide provides an overall outlook about the last decade uh, tea market scenario on its production, the share of different states and its growth rate. The pie chart picturizing the uh, market share of the important tea companies in India. Now let's see about the sales wise offer and sold quantity for the past year 2021. The sales wise offer is huge in North India with corresponding quantities sold in 2021. The sales wise price faced a huge fall due to the second wave of COVID-19 which hit in May month of 2021 but we soon got regain in the market. And compared to North India, the South India producers are low sales wise offer and a sold quantity. This depicts about the sales wise price movements at South India which is also less when compared to North India. In overall, 2021 was a quite good year for tea market in India. Uh, even though the sales wise price movement faced a small fall due to the pandemic, it doesn't get much affected and we soon got regained. The tea market will uh, witness a moderate growth for the next five years where it will get a domination by the Chinese. Black tea may get favored mostly by the residential people. The packaging must involve in paper goods. The strengths of the tea industry include the diverse, rich agroclimatic regions, the production of high quality teas, and we have strong production base backed up by research manpower, innovation, modernization, etc. The workmen are getting protected by the welfare laws. Extensional promotional and training facilitates the continuous upgrading of the tea industry. There are many bright opportunities in tea market because of increased consumption level in the people and a good awareness level among the health benefits of tea. There are some drawbacks standing behind which includes the old age of the bushes as most of them have crossed the economic threshold level of 50 years. It demands high cost of production, transport facilities and organized framework. A lack of quality control and monitoring mechanism and mechanization proves to be a practical problem. It has its own threats, which includes the all year round production, labor availability, the age of bushes, 
the packing and backing capacity and maintaining its export market. So in order to summarize, the tea industry, that is the tea industry of India is rich on its own. We must implement the best ever possible practical solutions and ways to maintain our teas as one of the best ever in the world. And that's all about it. And thank you all for your active and kind listening. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Thank you for listening.